Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. I'm Randolph Miller. Coming up in today's show, the YWCA of Greater Charleston proudly announces the 42nd annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Celebration. Coming up to tell us more about it, we will have the YWCA Executive Director, Kathleen Rogers, and Reverend Robert L. Capers, Salem and Bethel Presbyterian USA Churches. And what do you think were the biggest stories of 2013 here in Charleston? Live 5 News reporter Raphael James will be here to give us the top Top five, and later we'll have music by gospel singer Javetta Campbell. Every mountainside, let freedom ring, and when this happens, when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Let freedom ring. What a powerful theme for this year's Dr. Martin Luther King celebration. Welcome to Bounce Around Charles. It's Kathleen Rogers and Reverend Capers. Thank now you. I'm gonna let you all tell us about the upcoming events. Well, we're super excited. This is our 42nd annual, and I think every year it just gets better and better. Mm -hmm. uh, so this year is just, it's just gonna be outstanding, and we're so excited. Of course, we begin the celebration this coming Sunday with okay. our annual worship services, mm -hmm. and we have eight different areas, and you can certainly go to our website, which is ywcacharlestonsc.com, mm -hmm. and uh, it'll list all the, all the different locations that the area worship service will be taking place. And then uh, coming Thursday, which will be January 6th, 16th. Uh, I am so excited about this. This is our third year of doing our uh, civil uh, perspective of civil rights to the Jewish and the black okay. communities. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so excited because we actually hold it in the synagogue on Rut Rutledge Street. And many people have said it's the first time I've ever been in a synagogue. And for me, it was my first time. So as it's well. like a coming together. It's a real coming together. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's so great because the discussion uh, we have a panel of panelists who, who are part of the civil rights movement in some way. And some of our panelists are going to be uh, Judge Whipper, uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Lewis Whipper, mm -hmm. uh, McKinley Washington, and others. Uh, but what's so oh. great about it is that uh, people share their experiences during the civil rights movement. And when you listen to the pers how the experience from the black perspective, mm -hmm. as well as the Jewish perspective, what you really come in touch with was, uh, there are a lot of similarities in and terms you know what? of what and was we, being experienced. And we call these people living legends. Oh, absolutely living legends, living legends. Uh, uh, Hefner, who's gonna be on our panel, I mean, he argued cases before the Supreme Court and won many of his, just about all of his cases in terms of civil rights. So, I mean, if, if you've never been to a synagogue and you really enjoy dialogue and wanting to, to talk about that and, and just embrace that history. It would be a wonderful experience. Absolutely. and, and just. And bring youth, bring your, bring the young people along because it's really important that they understand the significance of the civil rights movement and more importantly, how it affects them today. Well, you know, we've often said, if you don't understand your past, how can you appreciate your present and your future? This is very true. And also, how do you protect your future mm -hmm. when you look at the, the progress that was made during the civil rights movement and how some of those rights are being challenged today, like the right to vote? Uh, it's really important to, to, you know, to fully understand that. So it's absolutely a, a great experience and a good education with them. Okay. Thank you so much, Ms. Rogers. Now, Reverend Capers, I know you want to talk about these, since you are a preacher, uh, I yeah. guess you want to talk about the services. We're excited, very, very excited about that Sunday. It's the 19th over at the Mars Street Baptist Church mm -hmm. at 4 o'clock. And we're in for a treat. We're going to have the Reverend Dr. Susan Johnson Cook. Know her well, who is yes. Former U.S. Ambassador for International Religious Freedom. She's mm -hmm. going to be our keynote speaker. Then, along with that, we are going to um, have the Harvey Gantt Award. And, and that's going to be this year awarded to the retired circuit right. judge, Richard E. Field. That's mm -hmm. Maloya. Judge will receive the Harvey Gantt Award. This is a beautiful award that I'm holding up. It's a beautiful award that uh, the Honorable Richard E. Fields will be presented that, that day. Huh? That's right. And we will also have on the program uh, U.S. Representative um, Jim Clyburn, uh, Charleston Mayor uh, Joe Raleigh. Um, that, that's our favorite, and mm -hmm. we, we thank him 
for always supporting us. And then we have the Democratic Party leader, uh, Clay Middleton. Clay Middleton, homeboy. Yeah, he's he's going to be with us along with the Charleston Southern University Gospel Choir. We are real excited about um, listening to them and the Divine uh, Strength Chamber Ensemble will perform at at, at 3 p.m. Okay, now also with this, there's always a breakfast. Yes, we absolutely, the Mayor Riley's annual uh, business and professional breakfast, mm -hmm. which takes place on Tuesday, the 21st, mm -hmm. and this year it's going to be at the Charleston Marriott. At what time? 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. in the I morning. know. Well, we start sharply at 7.30 <laughs> so people can get, can get to work. So mm -hmm. we're, we're done by 9 o'clock. Uh, but we're really pleased that Michael Moore, uh, who's with the founder of Glory Foods, mm -hmm. uh, is going to be our keynote speaker. And so we're really pleased with that. And then also, uh, we're going to have a youth uh, person representing the youth who will speak. Mm -hmm. And I understand she's a college at Charleston uh, student who will be there as well. You know, those bre that breakfast is, is just awesome to see those many people out that time of the morning. It's a good group that comes out because we usually average about 500 to 600, but we have something really special too on the program this you year. You do? Yeah, we've got the singing <laughs> preachers. Whoa, I've heard of them. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I've well, heard we, of them. We've got, have you heard of them? I've heard of them. Yeah, Reverend Miller is one of them. And yeah. they can sing. And they can sing really good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they're going to open the breakfast for us. Okay. So it's just at a really nice tone, get We're everybody awake, about that. and then we can mm -hmm. truly enjoy the program. Uh, but let's not forget our parade the Martin Luther King Federal Holiday Parade, which takes place on MLK Day, okay. which is Monday the 20th. Monday the 20th. We have about 140 odd units going to be in the parade. So every year it gets, it gets larger and larger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's, it's, a, it's really a fun time. Last year I was just amazed. Uh, I was worried because we didn't have as many bands in the parade that I had hoped for. Wow. Well, what happened was the, the church choirs were on the floats and they were singing as they came down the parade route and the people on the street joined in. So we had this all these voices going. And then we had some of the, the DJs with the radio stations. Mm -hmm. They got off the van and they start doing the wobble and electric slide. And, 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 and the people on the <laughs> side start doing So it just turned into one great big party. We had just such a great time. Let freedom reign. <laughs> Powerful theme. And we're looking forward to this 42nd yes. annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. celebration. Sponsored by the YWCA Greater Charleston. Dates January 12th through the 21st. For more information, visit the YWCA Greater Charleston website at www.ywca-charlestonsouthcarolina.org or call 843-722-1644. Now, Randy, may, may I also put a point here? There is a reception at 3 p.m. on that Sunday afternoon, uh, $50 per person. Okay. They need to uh, call RSVP? in early. That, okay. That's correct. Thank you very much for being on Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you for and having us. And we're looking us. forward for a su successful event. It will be. Okay. <laughs> Coming up, Live 5 News reporter Raphael James will be here to give us the top five news stories of 2013. <laughs>